is Ray White at the Mushin Academy in Battle Creek, Michigan, bringing you another review and demonstration of some uh, equipment that we got sent to us to demo. Uh, this is a new version of Max MMA's uh, reflex bag. It's kind of a reflex bag 2.0. Uh, we got the other one uh, back when it was brand new and they sent it to us to review. And uh, it was hinged at the bottom uh, and give you a, a lot of movement. Uh, it was adjustable, but has a lot of play, which is good if you want to slip and you want to move around a lot. Uh, this is uh, similar to some other uh, reflex bags, uh, but it's got some nice improvements. This one has the hinge uh, kind of in the upper half, so the upper body movement's a lot quicker. And I just inserted the, uh, the adjustment bar that makes it really stiff, and uh, you'll see that in the video. Uh, versus when I take it out and it moves. But this uh, this bag uh, has a little more padding, a little beefier base, and uh, it comes with everything you see here. It came with the base, uh, the bars, and uh, two different heads. It has uh, this uh, colored head, which is a little larger, and then uh, the, the smaller head, uh, if, you, if you want to kind of uh, get more pinpoint. And then, uh, I like this one though, because the color coding's a better visual acuity. And uh, I like to throw kicks, I like to throw elbows, and uh, if I can time it, I'll even jump and try to get a knee in there. Uh, so I like the larger striking surface, but you guys, you know, can, you can use what you want. This uh, extra bag on top is, uh, is a fitness bag, sandbag, with handles that you can uh, use to either uh, reinforce the base like I have it here, or you can take it off and use it. And uh, I'll show you guys a picture of that, uh, if you saw it in the picture. And... Uh, I filled that with about 25 pounds of uh, individual uh, sandbags inside. So it's got that unbalancing and you can use it for your various conditioning drills. And uh, we'll do a video for that as well. You can buy, I think you can buy that separate, uh, but it also comes with this kit. And it uh, goes together pretty quick. I think the only tools I used, I had a, a wrench uh, to tighten down some of the bolts. Other than that, uh, a couple screws uh, maybe in the bottom uh, to put the stand in. Other than that, uh, it goes together uh, just by hand. And once you have it together, you can adjust it and move everything else by hand. Uh, but uh, I like this equipment. It works well in your home, in your apartment, in your basement, in your garage. Uh, we like them here at the gym uh, because uh, we can put them wherever we need them and we can get them out of the way. Uh, if we've got jujitsu or somebody else in, they can just move the stuff out of the way. And I like having them at home. Uh, my kids like it. I like it. Uh, so... When you guys uh, are looking for that solution, uh, just think about what you're trying to train. This is a great striking bag. Uh, it's great for upper body attacks if you're looking, you know, if you're head hunting, uh, or you're just looking for some fitness and some conditioning. This is going to let you throw lots of strikes uh, and get that extra practice in. And that's what I always tell the guys: uh, is to, you know, how can you get your? You got to get your homework in. You know, you got to shadow box. Uh, you got to run, and you got to be able to hit something. Uh, once in a while and if you don't have room at home for a heavy bag uh, then uh, this is a nice uh, nice device that's going to let you get some extra striking time in. I like to just set the timer, get some music on and just work my combos uh, and just have fun with it and that's the difference. You know the only difference between a beginner and an advanced person is how much time they spend doing it. So uh, this is something that lets you get your extra homework in, get your extra fitness in and uh, does it take place, you know, can it replace everything? No. You need a heavy bag for hitting heavy stuff, knee bag for your, uh, for your knees and your clinch. Uh, but the reflex bag is great for hand speed, great for timing and distance. It's great for footwork. Uh, try to resist the urge to just stand in front of this thing uh, because uh, it gets pretty easy after a while to just sit here and punch, punch, you know, and hit this thing with punches. But once you add the footwork elements into it, uh, it becomes a, a really great workout. And I'm already sweating. Uh, after doing probably four or five rounds on this, and uh, that's what I like about it. I can get in, I can get some footwork in, I can get some uh, striking in, I can work my timing, I can work my distancing, uh, and I don't need to have my partner here. Partners get sick, you know, you guys know how it is, you can't always find a partner to work out, uh, but you got something like this and it's always going to be there for you, so uh, it's a great opportunity to train, it's not very expensive, um, so uh, I give it a thumbs up. If you liked the video, if you like the fact that I took the time to demonstrate this so you didn't have to go out and buy it yourself without knowing what you're getting, give me a thumbs up, uh, hit that like button, and go ahead and subscribe if you want to see the, uh, I'll do some basic tutorials uh, to get you guys started, 
And then you can always look back at some of our focus mitt and tie pad drills as well because anything you can do on a, on a, on a focus mitt or on a heavy bag, uh, you can adapt and do this. You're just going to strike the head or you can shadow box the rest of the movements until you get back up to the head. So I hope you guys liked the uh, review and uh, I, I think this is a great product and uh, feel free to try it out for yourselves. Thank you. Okay, now I want to show you guys how the reflex bag works uh, once you adjust it so it has a little less flex. And all you have to do is take the, take the base out, insert this pole into the spring side, leave yourself the string so you can extract it later, and just put it back on top, just like that. So now this has a little less flex. It stays a little more upright, doesn't quite have as much bend as it had before. So you're going to get a little bit of uh, different action out of it and uh, a little, little more speed. Um, and again, you're just training different ways. Uh, you might prefer one way or the other. Always good to mix it up. Uh, if you get really good at one way, switch back go the other way. Uh, give yourself different stimulus. Uh, give you a chance to work different techniques. Uh, but I'll uh, glove up and show you guys how this works. And... Uh, let you guys uh, make up your own mind about it. But uh, tell you, I like it. It's really easy, uh, and it is one of those things that everybody can uh, everybody can use at home, uh, regardless of space issues. So here we go.
Thank you.